like the um, editing features if I ever start that right now I don't want to do the that's just that's extra okay this sheet of paper is um, covering special right triangles it used to be taught in geometry um, and then a couple years ago when the EOC several years ago when the EOC came around and um, we were trying to teach the kids that struggle with math how to be good test takers as well um, we kind of omitted the special right triangles because we're like you know they can just type it in their calculator and get the decimal and find the matching decimal instead of trying to memorize these formulas and you're going to know what i mean by when i show it to you um you need to memorize them it is not that bad uh, it just takes pr practice writing it a few times um, just like creating the flashcards and it will make your life in this class so much easier and this is definitely on the ACT um, so the paper is broken into two two sections uh, you've got the 45 90 and then you've got the 30 60 90 You'll notice that um, they're talking about the angle measures, uh, 45, 45, 90 adds to 180, 30, 60, 90 adds to 180. Those are the angle measures. In a 45, 45, 90, if you recall from geometry, however many congruent angles, I feel like I need to slow down. It's, she's fixing to crash again, I feel like. Hold on. However many congruent angles are in a triangle is the same number of congruent sides, and that's vice versa. Um, however many congruent sides is how many congruent angles there are. So 45, 45, 90 tells me I have two congruent sides, which means I have an isosceles triangle. 30, 60, 90 tells me I have no congruent sides, which is a scaling triangle. Okay. This box right here is the formula. So you've got 45, 45, 90. Because it's 45, 45, these legs, sorry, hold on. These legs would be equal. So I'm going to put congruent marks. They are equal to each other. Um, formula means we don't know. This is what you can use to apply to all of them. So we're going to call this x, which means this is x. And then the formula for the length of the hypotenuse is you take the leg and you multiply by root 2 and you would get the length of the hypotenuse. So the leg is x, the hypotenuse is x root 2. Sometimes it's straightforward, sometimes it's fast backwards and you have to actually set an equation up and solve. Okay, so look at this right here. Um, we've got 45 here, 90, so clearly this would be the other 45. And find your legs. The legs are always the ones that form the right angle. Think of an L, capital L makes a 90 degree angle. Those are the legs of the triangle. So clearly X is 8. And the formula for the hypotenuse is leg times root 2. So the hypotenuse will be leg times root 2. We don't want decimals here. We want radicals, which is another really big um, trend in this class. You're going to see root 2, root 3 a lot, and you need to get comfortable with it. All right, so number 2. Take a second. So did you get y is 25? And bless you, x would be 25 root 2.
Number three is one where you have to do a little bit of work before you can write the answer. One and two are straightforward. If you know the leg, it's a very short problem. If you don't know the leg, then it's a slightly more step-involved problem. Okay, so look at it. it it's um, giving me the hypotenuse. I don't know either leg, and it has it as two variables, but I do know I'm dealing with a 45, 45, 90, so I'm going to make my congruent marks. So now I know if I find one, I found the other. There's a couple of ways to go about this. Because of the root 2, and then later on there's going to be a root 3, I found that if you try to do it in your head, people tend to make mistakes. If you will put it on paper as an equation and just solve, um, people tend to get it right more often. So the equation is that the hypotenuse, it's right here, right, is the leg times root 2. And you don't have to write this every time. This is just to train yourself. The hypotenuse is the leg times root 2. Now plug in what you know. I know the hypotenuse is 19. I'm going to focus on one leg for now. That would be x and then root 2. So now you can see I just need to get x by itself. So I'm going to divide by the root 2, and I end up with 19 over root 2 equals x. And then you need to remember the rule in math with radicals. E multiplied by itself. Yeah, you, you can't leave the radical in the bottom of the fraction. That is unethical. Um, so we're going to multiply by a designed fancy 1. That 1 is root 2 over root 2. If you recall this, um, and that's to get rid of the radical in the bottom. Now, multiplying straight across, be careful. The 19 is not under a radical. The root 2 is clearly under a radical. Those are not allowed to actually multiply together and become 38. Um, the 19 would become the coefficient of the root 2. So I end up with 19 root 2 over 2. Because I get root 4 and the square root of 4 is 2. Now, this answer, 19 root 2 over 2, probably is uncomfortable, it's ugly, but that is what we were going, those types of answers are what we're going to deal with the whole semester. So go ahead and start getting used to like number, root, over, number, okay? Um, and I'm just going to draw an arrow because it's going to get crowded, but it would be the other, um, the y value as well. And you'll notice there's no more practice problems for that because there's only two scenarios. You're either finding a leg or you're finding um, the hypotenuse, okay? That same concept applies down here, the exact same concept. We just have different formulas. So 30, 60, 90. Uh, 30, 60, 90, right here, you uh, have the picture, it's all blank, and then it gives us the um, place to put the formula. So we're going to label it this way. I'm going to show you how I always label as I refresh my memory. I always find the short side, and the short side is going to be opposite of the smallest angle. So here's the 30. I'm going to come to the side farthest away. This is my short side. We're going to call it x. If the short side is x, the hypotenuse is 2x. I always label those two first because those are nice and pretty. And then I save the ugly one for last. The last one would be the long side, and it's going to be the short side times root 3. So, the short side is x, the hypotenuse is 2x, the long side is x root 3. 
Now, if you want actual formulas, like those are formulas, but that's throwing the letter X in there. So you can say short, wait, sorry, let's write this. If you know the short, meaning the short side, dot, 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 is a short problem. If you know the short side, it's a short problem. Because if you know the short, then you know the hypotenuse is double. And then you also know the long side is short root three. Bam. No, no calculations involved, hardly at all. The hypotenuse is double the short. The long is the short root three. Easy peasy, right? If you know the hypotenuse, then you can find the short by simply dividing by two, and then you can finish the problem as a short problem by doing short root three. The one scenario that makes it a long problem is if you only know the, what do you think? Someone say long side. Long side. Long side. If you only know the long side, it's a long problem. Okay? So I'm going to draw a line to kind of give you a setup. Like if you know the long dot dot dot, it's a long problem. Because you have to work backwards from the long formula to get the short. And that involves that root three, which is what makes it a long. It's not that it's really a long problem. It's just it's got the root three in it. You're going to have to divide by root three. You're going to have to rationalize. And then you would have your short. Um, so you would set it up as long equals short root three. You would divide by root three and rationalize. And you get your short point. Okay, I said all of that. And it probably confused you. But now let's actually practice it. And you'll see it in play. So look at the question and ask yourself, what do I actually know, long, short, or hypotenuse? Remember the short is opposite of the 30. So this is the 30 right here. So this would be the short. This is the long, we'll do capital L, and then this is the hypotenuse. So which one do I know? I know the short, so it's a short problem. I can do this in my head. Um, I always go to the hypotenuse first because it's the 1 times 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. Long side is short side root 3. Alright, you try number 5. All right, so we know the short, this would be the long, this would be the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse would be what? Short's 14, 28, 28, and wide, the long side would be root 3, right? Okay, number 6. What do they give me? I know the hypotenuse. Um, here's the short, here's the long. If you know the hypotenuse, it's really still a pretty short problem. Cut it in half to get the short side and then finish with the long side. So the hypotenuse is 32, the short side is 16, the long would be 
16 root 3. All right, you try seven. This is a good worksheet. It gives us two of each scenario. So we've got the hypotenuse. This is the long, this is the short. If the hypotenuse is 46, the what? Short is 23. And then if the short is 23, the long would be 23 root 3. Okay, now let's do the ugly one. And it's only ugly because of what we you saw in number three. It's the exact same um, steps involved. Okay, so looking at eight, labeling it, here's my hypotenuse, here's my long, here's my short. If you only know the long, it's a longer problem, okay? I know the long is 20. You need to, until you get used to it, Set it up as an equation. The long is the short, and I'm running out of room, so I'm going to abbreviate short with just S. The short times root 3. Then plug in what you know. I know the long is 20. I don't know the short. I'm going to go ahead and change my letter here because the short is the letter Y. Root 3. Now you can see just like in number 3, we're going to divide by the root 3. That's a root. That didn't come out like a root. Anyways, and then we're going to have to rationalize. Uh, so you're going to multiply by root 3 over root 3. Multiply straight across. So you would get 20 root 3 over just three, right? And this was the short side. So 20, this is really crowded, which is really annoying, over three. That would be my only complaint about the worksheet. I need more room. Okay, now we need to get the hypotenuse. Okay, so we have the short, 20 root three over three, we need the hypotenuse. Don't forget the relationship. It's just double. Be careful. When you double a fraction, you're only going to double the top number, right? You don't double both because then that meant you multiply by 2 over 2, which is just 1. So you want to double it. Um, so if I'm doubling this, it'd be really crowded even more. 40 root 3 over 3. So when you double a fraction, um, think of it as multiplying by 2 over 1. So it's just that top number that doubles, and the root 3 does not get doubled because it's under a root. That is as ugly as it gets, okay? Um, sometimes the fraction will reduce. So that can, <clears throat> excuse me, that can happen. Uh, let's pretend like that was uh, a 30. Let's say the long side was 30 instead of 20. We would have ended up with 30 over root 3. And then we would have ended up with 30 root 3 over 3, which would reduce to 10 root 3. So that can happen, okay? Um, but this is as ugly as it comes when it won't reduce. Do number 9. Number 9 is um, actually really pretty. And it's because it starts with the root 3, um, so something nice happens. So 
hypotenuse, this is the short, this is the long. Okay, so we've got the long side is 9 root 3. All right, I'm going to set it up. Long equals short root 3. The long is 9 root 3. Copy the formula, short root 3. Because both sides have a root 3, that's a common factor. So if you divide by root 3 on one side, it's going to cancel on the other. So they are just gone. So you can see that the short is the number 9. When's that Tuesday? Oh, next Tuesday. I just got the text about the spirit night. Next Tuesday. Did y'all get it? When was spirit night? No, wait. I, I You know why I got it and you didn't? It's because it's R-E-S. My kid goes there. So it's R-P-S, R-E-S, spirit night. Tuesday. Students get in the free wearing ring gold. I think I should there. Girls halftime around. Oh, they'll be recognized during the girls halftime. <clears throat> dance force. Oh, the RES dance team is going to perform. <laughs> it's going to be cute. We don't get to see that. No, y'all don't get to see it. All right, short's nine. If the short is nine, the hypotenuse is? Eighteen. Eighteen. Um, if you go to the back. Mixed practice. Can you all stop? Should I make you do the mom? No. No. Make us do the evens. <laughs> Pull them as dentures. We have really good practice. Yeah. Evens. It wasn't our angle. Hard to see that. My right knee does that in. Um, I've not hurt myself either. In certain, let's do this. Um, so the back is on there, and I have the answer key to the back. If you want to like find no. one that looks challenging and try it, but I do have an actual assignment, um, and this is a grade. Uh, You're kidding. It is. You might get the geometry work. L, huh? That looks like something made your geometry class yeah. must be. Uh, it's A through L. So what? M, N, and M, the thirteenth letter of the alphabet. A through L. Thank you. Twelve problems, multiple choice, and then we get to color. You get to color. You get to color. Boys, you don't have to actually color in if you don't want to, but please at least maybe outline in the color. Can you do that for me? It'll be all black. Okay. Or, girl, or girls that don't want to color. I, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have said that. Um, yeah, you're getting fired. Yeah. Get out. Um, so it's twelve practice problems, and you might feel like, okay, why is she giving us a geometry sheet, guys? I've seen it before. If people don't know this by heart, creek house harder. Okay. So I am committing, like I'm like two, three days. Let's drill this. Let's make sure you're comfortable with it. You can, I need us to get to the point where you can just look at it and you can rationalize in your head, reduce in your head, because it's going to make our problems easier. The pre-cal problems coming down the pipe eventually, not yet. They're going to require like, and I'm throwing a number out there, it's not legit 10, but like 10 steps of thought instead of your normal two to three. I don't want this to be a step. I want this to be, oh yeah, there it is, there it is, there it is, because then that makes the other stuff a lot easier. So, I'm going to work number 17 from the back of that notes paper, because you will notice that the radical is not a two or a three. So let's look at 17. Y'all stay with me. He said eight. Okay, so 17 to 45, 45, 90. And they give me the hypotenuse. 10. 
So the hypotenuse is the leg times root two. We got root ten. This is on the back of the notes. It's ugly, so I was trying to help you. Well, not ugly. It's different. So I will divide by the root two. which means you can actually simplify this. You could rewrite this as one giant root 10 over 2. What is 10 divided by 2? 5. So it's root 5, right? I'm going backwards. I'm running out of root. So the leg is just root 5. That's going to happen on one of the problems um, on the puzzle thing that you just got. Let's see, what number? It's always getting on my nerves. J and L, they both have roots that are not two or three, so it's going to simplify. 